Hi guys, welcome back to Movie Recaps. Today's video is all about the 3D Japanese animated movie called Dragon Ball Super. Super Hero released in the year 2022 is a sequel to Dragon Ball Super, Brawly. Without further delay, let's watch the movie highlights. Long ago, there was an evil organization known as the Red Ribbon Army, which was led by Commander Red. Despite appearing to be defeated by the young child Goku, their chief scientist, Dr. Jiro, escaped and was later responsible for the creation of the androids in Cell. Magenta, Commander Red's son, has spent his time hoping to resurrect the Red Ribbon Army by using Red Pharmaceuticals as a front. Dr. Hito, the grandson of Dr. Jiro, is discovered by him and his second-in-command Carmine. Carmine fails to notice that he is being followed by Hakamaru, Dr. Hito's spy robot, as he drives into the Red Ribbon compound, hidden away beneath a holographic lake. Carmine shows Magenta a video presentation on Dr. Hito that includes a family tree that includes his grandfather Dr. Jiro, grandmother Volmi, and his uncle Jivo, who was the model for Android 16 before his death. Dr. Hito, despite being a genius, is unable to find steady work due to troubling research that includes resurrecting previously deceased humans and using them to run a convenience store for him in order to shore up research funds, a crime that lands him in prison. When he is released, Magenta and Carmine plan to meet him outside the prison. Dr. Hito is released from prison, dressed in a superhero suit, and meets Carmine and Magenta in a car, who invite him in. He reveals that he already knows who they are, having tracked them with his spy robot since Carmine first entered the prison. Magenta invites Dr. Hito to work for them, but he is hesitant because he knows Red Pharmaceuticals is secretly the Red Ribbon Army, and his grandfather's connection to the organization is causing problems for himself and his parents. He objects to their plans for world dominance as a superhero fan. Carmine threatens Hito with a gun, but Hito reveals that he's injected himself with serum that has toughened his skin, allowing him to withstand a certain amount of shock. Hakimaru, who lives in a compartment on his glove, also carries a lethal poison. Magenta appeals to his heroism, telling him that they believe Capsule Corporation is the headquarters for a group of aliens bent on world dominance, and that the androids and Cell were part of a plan to stop them. Hito agrees to help them and contribute his research in creating the ultimate android superheroes after seeing footage of future Trunks killing Frieza. Piccolo spends six months training three-year-old Pan in the woods near his home. Pan wishes to learn to fly but is unable to do so at the moment. Piccolo assures her that it will come to her naturally in time. Pan wonders if it's true that her father is stronger than her grandfather Goku, as she's never seen Gohan fight. Piccolo says he could be, but he's not sure about him right now. Piccolo returns to his house as Pan leaves for kindergarten. Piccolo receives a call from Videl, asking him to pick up Pan after kindergarten because she is preparing her martial arts school for a tournament and Gohan is working on his research. Piccolo pays Gohan a visit at his home and inquires as to why he is unable to go and pick up Pan. Gohan complains about how busy he is and tries to explain his research, but Piccolo is uninterested, instead asking him if his research is more important than his family and urging him to train in case evil returns. Gohan dismisses the idea, claiming that as long as Goku and Vegeta are present, everything will be fine. Piccolo throws a punch at Gohan, who blocks it, but Piccolo follows up with another blow to the stomach. With Gohan collapsing under the pressure, he changes his clothes into the traditional Piccolo gi and weighted cape. Piccolo advises him to keep it on and agrees to pick up Pan. Piccolo returns home and begins to meditate before being interrupted by Gamma 2. He notices the red ribbon logo and realizes Gamma is an android. Gamma 2 informs Piccolo that he was sent there on a mission to subjugate the Namekian, but instead decides to kill him. After a fight, Gamma 2 believes he has killed Piccolo and flees. Piccolo, 
who had just avoided Gamma 2's attack and slipped away in the dust, follows the android back to the Red Ribbon base. Piccolo subdues a guard and steals his uniform to disguise himself. Piccolo enters a control room where Magenta, Carmine, Dr. Hito, and the two Gammas are meeting, with a number of soldiers standing guard. Gamma 1 chastises Gamma 2 for not confirming Piccolo's death body and reveals that he escaped via camera footage. Angry, Magenta declares that if this error reveals their identity to the enemy, they will have to accelerate their plans. He directs Dr. Hito to complete his work on Cell Max, but Hito insists that the two Gammas can complete the task on their own. He's also hesitant to use it because his control system isn't complete, which means he could easily turn against them. Piccolo sneaks away after overhearing the Cell Max conversation to call Bulma. He inquires as to whether Goku and Vegeta are present, but they are away training with Beerus. He requests that Bulma contact Whis. While he waits, he goes to Corinne's tower to get some Senza beans. Broly and Goku are engaged in a training match on Beerus' planet. When Broly begins to lose control, Goku tells him to calm down or he will go on a rampage. Meanwhile, Goku sees Vegeta meditating and explains to him that this is a form of training. He wonders if Goku noticed that during the Tournament of Power, the gap between Jiren and their power may not have been as great as it appears. Jiren, on the other hand, was able to save all of his energy for specific instances of attack. This allowed him to unleash more offensive power while conserving strength. Vegeta focuses on fighting in the same manner. Whis applauds Vegeta for recognizing this and proposes a training match between the three Scions, but Vegeta declines if Broly will be joining, claiming that if he gets carried away, they'll all be in trouble. Meanwhile, Beerus has awoken from a four-month nap to find Limo, Chilai, and Broly on his planet. According to Goku, this was the best way to keep Broly safe from Frieza. He decides they can stay after tasting Limo's food and finding Chilai attractive. Broly watches Goku and Vegeta spar while the others eat ice cream. During the game, an ice cream tub lands on Wiz's staff, preventing him from hearing Bulma's call. Corinne gives Piccolo the only two sends of beans he has on Earth. Piccolo receives a call from Bulma, who informs him that she has been unable to contact Wiz. Piccolo, with few options left to defend the Earth, recalls the Grand Elder Guru unlocking Gohan and Krillin's potential and flies up to Den to ask if he can do the same for him. Den claims he can't because he's too young, but he upgrades the Dragon Balls to be able to. Piccolo wonders if he will be able to collect the Dragon Balls in time, but Den observes that Bulma has them already. Piccolo visits Capsule Corporation to meet with Bulma. Piccolo grants the first wish and as Shinran unlock his latent potential, noting that he also included a bonus. Bulma spends the other two wishes on minor cosmetic changes before realizing, much to her horror, that they could have used one of the wishes to bring Goku and Vegeta back to Earth instead. When Piccolo chastises her for it, she points out that he hadn't thought of it either, and he returns to Red Ribbon HQ sheepishly. Back at the base, Magenta and Carmine devise a plan to entice Gohan next, in order to expedite their plans. Knowing he has a daughter, they decide to kidnap her in order to lure him to the base and avoid being exposed to the public. Piccolo, still dressed in his red ribbon uniform, volunteers to go on the mission to kidnap Pan because he claims to know her as the famous Mr. Satan's granddaughter. Piccolo is assigned to the mission with another soldier, number 15. Piccolo believes that staging a fake kidnapping will be enough to jolt Gohan back into action. When soldier number 15 arrives at Pan's kindergarten and claims he's there to take her home, she knocks him unconscious. Piccolo recognizes her by his key, and he returns her and the unconscious number 15 to the Red Ribbon plane. Piccolo reveals his plan to her on the plane and delivers her to Red Ribbon base. Piccolo and number 15 arrive at Gohan's house to deliver the message, and Pan feigns terror in a recording used to lure Gohan in. Gohan is unconcerned about number 15 holding him at gunpoint until he pulls out Pan's footage. Gohan flies out the window and transforms into a super scion, causing a massive crater that causes his house to collapse. In a panic, number 15 apologizes and politely invites Gohan to accompany him, assuring him that Pan is unharmed. 
Gohan arrives at the base and rushes toward Pan, who is waiting at the top of a tower behind a swarm of soldiers, high-ups, and gammas. Gamma-1 intervenes, and the two battle, with Gohan, despite being a super scion, at a disadvantage. Piccolo and Pan stage a performance in which he pretends to be a soldier, grabs her collar, and threatens her, only to be surprised when the Gamma's object to his actions. It, nonetheless, the move causes Gohan to go potential unleashed, giving him the upper hand. Piccolo, in his new, awakened form, intervenes to stop Gamma 2 from entering the fight as backup. Gamma 2 reveals that he still has more power and puts Piccolo on the back foot. Piccolo, defeated and falling into a crevice in the base, recalls Shenron's words about throwing in a bonus. A sigil lands on his back, turning his skin orange, making his antenna stand on end, and making him bulkier. He defeats Gamma 2 with a single punch in this stronger form. Meanwhile, Pan begins plowing through Red Ribbon soldiers, and Magenta and Carmine begin to retreat as the Gammas lose their advantage. Carmine, feeling threatened by Pan, fires a gun at her, but she avoids all of his shots. Outraged by Carmine's actions, the Gammas realize they've been duped and stop fighting Gohan and Piccolo. Carmine is knocked out by Pan, while Magenta flees. Dr. Hito follows him out. After the battle appears to be over, everyone regroups, now with the Gammas in tow. Bulma arrives, accompanied by Trunks, Goten, Krillin, and Android 18. Piccolo is surprised to see how much Goten and Trunks have grown since their last meeting. Gohan observes that Scions remain small until a certain age, at which point they undergo a rapid growth spurt. Gohan inquires about Piccolo's new form, and Piccolo remarks that Shinran was quite generous with his bonus. Gohan asks him to name it, and after being told that he is orange, he decides on Orange Piccolo. Magenta prepares to awaken Cell Max inside the base. Magenta shoots Dr. Hito and begins undoing more of Cell Max's restraints when he tries to stop him. Dr. Hito stands up and reminds him of his toughened skin. Magenta reveals that he's been upgraded as well, removing his suit to reveal the cybernetically enhanced body beneath. He prepares to fight but is stung on the back of the neck by Hakamaru's poison, which begins to kill him. Magenta uses his final moments to release Cell Max from his cell, allowing him to escape. The sky darkens, and Cell Max, a massive, red creature with wings that resemble second form Cell, explodes from beneath the base. Piccolo throws a Senza Bean to Gohan, but he can't catch it because he doesn't have his glasses on, and it falls into a crevice. Goten, Trunks, the Gammas, Piccolo, and Gohan, exhausted from the previous battle and only capable of going Super Scion, charge into battle against Cell Max, while Krillin remains behind with Pan and Bulma. Dr. Hito had built a weakness into the top of Cell Max's head, according to the Gammas. To kill him, they'll have to break through it. With no one making much progress in Cell Max ignoring even Piccolo's special beam cannon aimed directly at his weak point, Goten and Trunks attempt to fuse. They make a mistake and create the fat Gotenks. Gotenks tries but fails to become a Super Scion. He headbutts Cell Max directly on the weak point after being tossed around from Cell Max to several other characters, causing some cracks in Cell Max's head. Gamma 2 intends to make the ultimate sacrifice, gathering all of his energy from above and driving himself through Cell Max. With the help of the rest of the team, Cell Max is placed in a position for the charged up Gamma 2 to strike, but he is blocked at the last second, only removing Cell Max's arm. Pan finally learns to fly in order to avoid the ensuing explosion. Enraged, Cell Max attempts to stomp the lifeless body of Dr. Hito in Gamma 2, but Piccolo intervenes, reverting to his orange Piccolo form to support Cell Max's foot. Krillin encourages him to use his gigantification technique from the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. Piccolo has grown into a giant, but he still struggles against Cell Max. Piccolo confides in Gohan, telling him that he will keep Cell Max in place long enough for Gohan to launch a full power attack on the weak point. He gives Gohan the last Senza Bean from his belt and fights an uphill battle with the other's help, while Gohan charges his power. 
Cell Max executes an attack that appears to have killed Piccolo, causing Gohan to awaken from his potential unleashed state and transform into a new form with white hair and red irises. Gohan easily repels Cell Max's attack before launching his own, overwhelming him. Cell Max charges a massive ball of energy, which he collapses into a focused attack. Piccolo regains consciousness and holds Cell Max in place. Gohan performs a special beam cannon, running through both Cell Max's attack and his head, after Cell Max throws his energy ball. Cell Max falls to the ground and explodes, while the rest of the group flees the blast. In the aftermath, Pan runs up to Gohan and Piccolo who revert to regular. Gohan and Pan include and Piccolo congratulates Gohan. Gohan notes that even had his father and Vegeta been around, they will now not have been able to defeat Cell Max. Piccolo says it truly is precisely why it's crucial for Gohan to stay prepared. Gamma 2, drained of strength, disintegrates as Dr. Hito and Gamma 1 watch. Piccolo states that ultimately, Gamma 2 really turned into a superhero. Dr. Hito is repentant of his movements, understanding he became getting used and selected not to care and offers at hand himself over to the police. However, Bulma gives the repentant Dr. Hito and Gamma 1 places at Capsule Corporation, as Dr. Hito's pores and skin serum may additionally prove useful in cosmetic studies. With the contemporary chance treated, Pan fortuitously flies around anyone. In a submit credit score scene, Vegeta and Goku are both exhausted from their combat to the factor that they could infrequently pass. Vegeta throws a weak punch at Goku, who finally topples over, accompanied by way of Vegeta. Vegeta thankfully comments that he eventually received. Beerus has fallen asleep at the same time as Chilai is glad that their stupid fight is ultimately over, however Limo and Broly have both been moved to tears. Facts about the movie Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero, Doragon Boru Super Super Hero, is a 2022 Japanese PC lively martial arts fantasy slash journey movie, directed through Tetsuro Kodama, produced with the aid of Toei Animation and written via Dragon Ball series creator Akira Toriyama. It is the 21st Dragon Ball function film overall, the fourth produced with Toriyama's direct involvement, the second one to carry the Dragon Ball Super branding and the primary to be produced especially the use of 3D animation. The film follows Piccolo and his former scholar Gohan as they pass on a venture to store the arena from the newly reformed Red Ribbon Army, 